the last folder of the 3D objects to the library is called Window Modular and the folder contains three similar window objects. Uh, those are very advanced and very complex as you will see. Before we start with the rig description, just take a look at this scene. The scene contains two objects. The first is the brickwork and the brickwork is covered by stucco layer. Let's say you need to place a window into a wall opening here. Just imagine a real building. A window frame is connected with its brick for directly and a stucco covers this connection detail. For a correct looking visualization we have to simulate the reality as well. I made a special feature that will help you with that. It's time for the first test. So go to the content browser and open the Windows Modular folder. And the folder contains three similar window rigs as we said before. The window two wings object is the most complex of them. So the object use double click and load it into our scene. I will use the front view and activate the edge snapping as well. So enable snap, edge snap and also I will activate the midpoint snap and drag and drop uh, and move the window to the left bottom opening corner. I will check a 3D position as well and that's correct and I have to adjust the window size uh, accordingly to the clear wall opening here. I will use the loop selection tool, select the opening polygon loop and check the selection size. The selection width is 147 and its height is also 147. Set the window rig and set the same values here. So here is the global group. It contains all the main settings of a window state and dimensions. Set the width to 147 and use the same for the height value. Done. The frame should be connected with the brickwork. The stucco layer should cover this connection a bit, so I check it from the front. And here is a very special value called offset inner. The window frame offset is controlled by the value. So I will try to set it to 1.5 and it generates correct looking details you can see. Once more, the frame is connected with the brickwork and the stucco covers the detail. It simulates the real stage of Windows placement. That's really enough about this very special feature. So let's create a new scene and I would like to explain all window rigs parameters and settings there. So create a new scene. Open the content browser library again and add a new window two wings object into our scene. Done. Set the object and check its user data tab. The rig settings is divided into several groups again. Here is the global group settings. The group controls the main dimensions of the object and all main states such as opening and wing divider position. The glass details settings group controls all glass surfaces and their details. Dividers controls in the divider settings their shape, count and distribution. Uh, the handle settings group contains all settings of a handle position rotation. It isn't so far from the door object settings of course. And two material groups set all materials of the setup. It's a pretty complex object as you can see and it's much easier to set all materials using these links rather than open an object higher searching all text you need to adjust and so on. So you can use these link fields only. That's a much faster approach. Okay, let's start. The width controls total object width as expected. Just uh, as the height controls the object total height. However, don't forget the offset inner value. It can increase the object total size as we have seen before because the offset shifts the object frame inside a clear wall opening. We can check it once more. So set the offset value to zero and go to the front view. 
Ok, go closer and set the object size to 200 in both directions. And check the object size according to the use space grid. It covers the main grid lines perfectly. It means the object size is 200 in all directions. Ok, just increase the offset inner value. It will expand the object size. Because it simulates the window frame offset. However, object exists stays in the same position as before. Let's play with the window wings. We can open all wings independently. So use vertical opening right value. And test the left as well. Close the left and let's say we would like to open the right wing horizontally. But it's a bit a different issue because you must always close the window first. Nevertheless, just increase the horizontal opening distance value. And it temporarily turns off the vertical opening settings. The horizontal opening settings isn't controlled by an angle such as all other settings, but it uses a distance value instead. The reason is very clear. The real window construction uses a lever that holds a window wing. There is always a fixed distance between the frame and wing. The rig simulates the behavior of using the distance. Let's imagine the object height is lower. It makes the opening angle higher. We can test it. Set the height to 100. And the distance between the object frame and wing stays the same as before. But the opening angle is wider. Ok, close the window. And I will close the vertical opening right as well. And check the last parameter of the group. It's called wing divider. The parameter controls the wing divider position. Let's just adjust the value. It will be a rarely used value, I guess. But here's the option. Let's imagine an outer scene use of the object. You don't usually exactly need an outer glass. So uh, there is an option to deactivate it and increase rendering speed. Go closer and check these glass planes closely. Turn off the rear glass trigger and it will turn off the outer glass. And here is the front glass. Test both values. The rear is deactivated and is the front and the rear isn't activated and so on. The last trigger of the group activates the real thickness of these glass planes. The Glass thickness is generated by an explosion FX object. So the trigger turns on or off uh, these deformers. Let's check it. Unfold the object hierarchy and choose the glass object. And here's the deformer we are talking about. And select the rig object and uh, play with the trigger. And it really controls the deformer here. Ok, we can fold the hierarchy again and activate all these triggers. The rig can generate all these inner dividers as we know already. The dividers group controls all settings of these dividers look and distribution. The horizontal divider controls horizontal dividers count. Let's play with the value. And the second value controls their spreading. The vertical divider settings work such as the horizontal. We can control generated count here. And the spreading is here. I really don't like them. I would like to turn off all of these dividers. I will simply set these values to zero. And it deactivates all dividers, objects and settings. The dividers group controls all settings of these dividers look and distribution. As we said before, here is their depth 
and here's the U surrounding. Go closer and test the settings. Adjust the divider width and their depth. And adjust their rounding as well. OK. The last object controlled by the rig is its handle. Is here. We can adjust its vertical position and the handle rotation. Just imagine you animate the object, a uh, window opening, for instance, and so on. So here's an option to animate it. It's really enough about the object setting setup, but we have to take a look at the, the material settings because it's very important as well. The materials frame group sets main materials of the window rig. We can set a frame material and a wings material independently. Materials details group controls all other materials used by the setup, such as glass, dividers, materials, inner metal strips, silicon strips, hinges, and so on. Okay, open the rig hierarchy and check horizontal and vertical objects here and select a texture tag. The selected tag uses a parametric spatial projection. It can use a flat projection as well, but the rig doesn't use a UV projection R2. All these objects are generated and have a, a usable UV mesh already. But the UV projection isn't suitable for the job. Let's imagine a very narrow and high window. All vertical samples will be very stretched and horizontally compressed. Geometric projection makes the look more natural just adjust texture size in case it's necessary or use a layer shader instead. Nobody says you can't open the hierarchy and change the use projection here. Or, as I said before, you can use a layer shader as well. Open the prepared material, choose the color channel and load a new layer shader here. Open the layer shader and it offers several different effects. Click the FX button and select the transform effect from the list. And you can rotate the underlying content of the shader and you don't need to touch the texture tag itself. Here it isn't a problem changing a material orientation. We are in the end of the window two wing object description. So I will improve the current look of the window. Just select the object, set the width to 150 and use the same for the height and turn off all inner dividers. I don't like them, really. And open the content browser again and load the window single object from the library. It's a bit different object because it has a single wing only. On the other hand, its settings aren't so different from the object we have seen already, of course. So the new object and continue to its user data tab. Almost all settings are same like before, but here's a new trigger called bottom hinges. The window can be vertically open at the moment. It's the same like before. Nevertheless, we can change the window orientation. So we can mirror the setup to the left or right with the trigger here. And the object can be opened horizontally like before. But there is almost no difference. But we can make a decision that the object can be opened vertically and its hinges are placed on the bottom edge of the wing. So use the bottom hinges option in this case. It changes the look of the object. The handle is placed on the top of the wing and hinges are placed on the bottom edge and we can open it horizontally only. Other settings are really the same. All settings we have seen already. So let's load the last object of the library. It's called Window Solid and it's a very special piece of window. It's the window that can't be opened ever. Simply, it doesn't have any opening window wing. Here's a solid frame only. Okay, I will turn off all dividers again and check the solid window settings. It doesn't have any opening settings here, as you can see. So it doesn't have an opening wing. It doesn't have an opening wing so it doesn't need its settings, of course. It's the advanced window library I made. Before the end of the chapter, just go closer and check the object construction. Have a look at all the details here. 
it doesn't use a simple sweep object like the other solution but it simulates real construction details and this is the key difference between the library I made and all other Windows generators and plugins on the market. Just check this layer detail, silicon strips and so on. I use the rig very often I have to say and I hope you will use it often as well because it's a very powerful setup. Thank you for watching. Inform me about your library experience please and see you soon.